I am here with Mary and Jose from Rainscapes TO, and we're gonna talk about all things sustainable gardening. Well, we've noticed within our Garden Sode community that there has been an elevated interest around sustainable gardening. There have been discussions as far as what that means. There's kind of different definitions of sustainable gardening and a lot of interest in water, water conservation and how we use our water. What does it mean to garden sustainably? It's to mimic nature as much as possible. That's for me sustainable gardening. The mainstream gardening as it is, it still is, is human centered. It's like the, plant, the colors I like, design the garden to fit my needs, which is like visual needs or, or I need shade maybe, or I need food, but it's my needs. Yeah. So sustainable gardening is like going beyond that. So thinking I'm part of the ecosystem as much as the soil, bacteria, as much as the birds, butterflies, wildlife, as much as other beings. So it's like, I'm not the only one. How can we make this work for everybody? So for the average gardener who has a backyard, front yard, as big or as small as it can be, it would be first to observe. Observe in nature, like I always tell clients, you go on a hike in Algonquin or another park and you see the trees, the ferns growing under the trees, you see different uh, native flowers. The same is for your backyard. You need to have different layers mm -hmm. of, of canopy of, of plants growing together. They, they complement each other. So again, mimicking nature. and. It goes from the implementation to the maintenance. I mean, keep things where they fall because they have a function for you, but also for the pollinators and for the soil. And just work what you have. And it's a process. It's, it's not doesn't happen overnight. Gardens take time, right? So it, it will take years for you, but it's about experimenting and having fun and, and just, you know, talking to other people and connecting with the community to, to learn from each other. Just kind of taking stock of what you have. What, what are the plants that you see there? Beginning with removing invasive species and reintroducing native species that can help with the biodiversity and help with the pollinator species, of course, bringing them back in, but also the small mammals and birds into the area as well. Wildlife, yes. Mm -hmm. The garden is an actionable item. Like you can do something and the next day you see the butterflies arriving, watering, infiltrating. So it gives you hope instead of talking about emissions and you know policies that might or not, might not happen. This is happening right now under my control. And it's, it's this joy, you know, because it's getting your hands dirty, seeing pollinators, playing with your kids.